I grew up on a farm uh, in northern Florida, and I've traveled around the country, and I've, I've expressed that I grew up on a farm in Florida, and people kind of give me a weird look. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they ask, it's followed by this question, oh, you grew up on a palm tree farm. <laughs> no, we don't grow palm trees. Uh, in northern Florida, uh, it's very, uh, where I grew up, it's very rural and agricultural. Uh, our biggest crops are peanuts and watermelons. And uh, it's fun to tell people in Iowa and Illinois about watermelons because, uh, and peanuts, they, they, they don't grow very well here. Uh, but, you know, our corn is nothing compared to Iowa and Illinois corn. Uh, our, our corn is, it's small. And uh, so anyway, um, I spent a lot of time as a child behind the seat of a John Deere tractor and knowing that manufacturer of John Deere tractor is not very far from here. And uh, so that's very, uh, very exciting uh, for me. Uh, one more connection to back home uh, for me being so far away. Uh, but all the while spending time in the, in the, in the cab of this tractor, uh, country music would be pouring into the cab. And so I was exposed to it at a very young age. And it became a big part of my roots as a, as a musician and as a person. And, um, so it inspired uh, a lot of uh, a lot of my writing, and when I was writing music for my third album, I wanted to touch base uh, uh, in those roots again and kind of branch out, uh, so to speak. Uh, so in the early '90s, country music, of course, is an ever-evolving uh, genre of music. There's a lot of crossover now, uh, uh, but uh, in the early '90s, uh, it was more ballad style, and I really took that to heart. So this is uh, my interpretation of, of that era, I guess, for country music. Uh, this one is called Forgiven Memories. <laughs> 